Korea tonight. Let's get into the news now. In retaliation to President Trump's escalating trade war, China has just announced that they will no longer buy any agricultural products from the United States, meaning Trump's policies could now cost American farmers billions of dollars. I know what you're thinking. The master negotiator strikes again. <laughs> China is no longer buying from American farmers, so, you know, be sure to do your part to help out at the farmer's market this weekend. <laughs> Pick up a couple of extra tomatoes, you know, <laughs> an extra two million pounds of soybeans. <laughs> as you know, this all comes as a response to President Trump recently increasing tariffs on Chinese goods. Now, I'm not an economist, OK, but I think it's because someone might be a bit jealous of someone else's wall. <laughs> <laughs> on top of hurting farmers, on top of hurting farmers, this trade war will increase the prices of iPhones, sneakers and toys, right? Which means Trump's re-election strategy seems to be built around ruining Christmas. <laughs> In other Trump administration news this morning, the American ambassador to Russia, John Huntsman, submitted his letter of resignation. So now, for a direct line to Russia, Trump will just have to rely on Eric Trump, Donald Jr., and most of his cabinet. <laughs> Huntsman has been Trump's ambassador to Russia for the last two years, and he says he's stepping down to spend more time with whatever shred of decency he has left. <laughs> Huntsman says... <laughs> Huntsman says he intends to keep busy, though, and he'll be returning to work as the murder suspect in every episode of Law & Order. <laughs> Moving on, did you guys see this? Yesterday, Travis Scott surprised his girlfriend, Kylie Jenner, by giving her some birthday roses. Take a look at how he arranged them. Look at this. Look at those roses! <laughs> it's so romantic, isn't it? Oh! Although you just know that his housekeeper's like, oh, for so <laughs> I'd hate to be the guy who went who went into the florist right after Travis Scott. <laughs> Had to be like, honey, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> anyway, here's a Best Buy gift card. <laughs> And we wanted to show you this. Late last night in Chicago, a semi-truck tipped over on a highway and spilled 40,000 pounds of wine bottles out onto the road. Here's what the scene looked like here. Look at that. <laughs> to sop up all the wine, authorities immediately dispatched several local book clubs. <laughs> now, again, the police did show up. The police showed up, but the wine had already sunken into the road that when the police showed up, the highway immediately just tried to fight them. They were like, I'm not causing trouble, you're causing trouble. Get your hands off me! What? <laughs> and, <laughs> and finally, it's a drunk highway. That's a drunk highway. <laughs> And finally, a 70-year-old man in England has now been awarded $24,000 after he went to hospital for a routine bladder operation but was mistakenly circumcised. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is what you call a real slice-of-life story. <laughs> the, hosp <laughs> the hospital tried to put a positive spin on it and were like... We Marie Kondo, your penis! <laughs> he walked in for a bladder operation, but walked out with an accidental circumcision. <laughs> this is shocking. I didn't know that when you left a hospital, you were supposed to leave a tip. <laughs>